Now, in this episode, it is going to be a little bit more advanced. I didn't say that in the beginning because we are going to do a sun salutations, which I know everyone can do. Uh, we're going to do some down dogs. We're going to do a headstand, shoulder stand. We're going to do plow. And we're also going to be doing a full back bend. All these poses are going to enable us to open up and give us clarity. So remember, if you're not ready for this class, by all means, um, I'll give you some options that you can do, but don't push yourself. Remember, it's all about being present where you are at the moment. Now, with all that being said, let's get started with today's class. Open up your knees and let's go to child's pose. Deepen your breath with each inhale and exhale. Just relax it in here. Deep Ujjayi breathing. That's where you inhale deeply through the nose, hollow the throat, expand the chest and lungs. And with each inhale and exhale, you just allow your body to open through the breath. So as we go through the class, your breath becomes deep and consistent, never changing like a cascading waterfall. It becomes your metronome, your timekeeper for the asanas, the poses. So just go where you need to go. Breathe and challenge yourself, but listen to your body and follow your breath. Square yourself up, let's take your toes right into the mat and take it up and back in the downward facing dog. Now remember to flatten your palms, spread your fingers, roll the shoulder blades apart, deep in the breath. Remember to hang out here, open yourself up, challenge yourself and just allow yourself to be completely present. Remember we don't want a soft end, so if you need to bend your knees, push back, tailbone to the ceiling. Heels to the floor, hide the heels behind the feet, deep in the breath. Remember to work on this. Spread your fingers, root your index fingers and thumbs more. Challenge yourself, listen to your body, go where you need to go. And drop to your knees, child's pose. We're doing two of these to open up, then we'll get into some flow. And bring it up and right back into down dog again. And again, remember, just hang out here. Find out where you can go. If you need to walk your heels up and down, that's cool. But again, I always tell people, you know, I'm a real person doing real yoga. My hamstrings are tight. There are days when I feel wonderful. My whole body opens up it's, and you feel amazing. But you know, there are days also when my body just won't open and I have to deal with that and I can only do what I can do. So just remember, listen to your body, go where you can go and just enjoy the process. It's Every day is different, okay? Mine included. My body's tight. Some days it opens, some days it says closed, and I have to find out where I can go with it. Look between your hands, walk your feet forward. Standing forward fold, Uttanasana. Let your arms relax. Now if you notice, I got my knees bent slightly, and I'm just hanging. Let your neck hang like a grape on a vine. yourself to the front of the mat. We're going to be doing some sun salutations to warm ourselves up. Now, when we're going through the sun salutations, remember, we don't want to slop through that. What I mean by that is so many people just do the sun salutations and they don't think about it. Well, remember, this class is about clarity. It's about focus. It's about allowing yourself to be completely, completely absorbed and present, letting go of everything else and being here. 
Now, when we're doing the sun salutations, just listen to your body and just make it a beautiful dance. That's all we've got to do. It's really that easy, but sometimes we fail to see that because we have so much clutter in our head. We have to let go of all that so that we can focus and bring clarity to our yoga practice because yoga is truly about being present in the moment. That's what we want to be right now. So bring the hands to the chest. Big inhale, get a back bend. Exhale forward. Look up, lengthen the spine. Walk or jumping back, chaturanga, up the push up, take it down, elbows in, nice and slow, rolling it into up dog. Tops of the thighs off the floor, hold, and go to down dog. Now, typically when I do a flow class, I like doing a lot of creativity, a lot of fun movement. And this one, it's about simplicity in movement. It's about the ease, the simplicity, the beauty of the simplicity. So it's straightforward class today, but see if you can see the beauty in the simple poses that we're doing. See if you can go someplace new that you haven't been before. Bring clarity not only to yourself, but to your practice. And look between your hands, walk or jump it forward. Lengthen. Squeeze it in. All the way up. Hands come to the chest. Keep it going, arms out. Up and down. Look up length. Again, jump it back slowly to, to Chaturanga. Take it down, hold. And up dog. And down dog. Again, stay here and breathe. Upside down V. Spread your fingers, fingers forward. Have the heels behind the feet deep in the breath. Look between your hands, jump it forward. Lengthen. Squeeze it in. All the way up. Hands to the chest. Find your breath, everyone. Arms up, out. Back bend. Squeeze it in. Look up, lengthen the spine. Jump it back. Chaturanga, take it down. And up. And yes, stay here and breathe. That's right, you know the words. Find out where you are, play with the pose. Don't get bored with it, bring clarity. Find out where you need to be. Jump it forward, lengthen, squeeze it in, all the way up, and hands to the chest. One more of these before we move on, up, and down. Look up, lengthen, and jumping it back, chaturanga, take it down, holding, rolling it into up dog. Stay here and breathe. And look forward, jump it. Lengthen, squeeze it in. All the way up. Hands to the chest, bring it to mountain. Mountain is a great pose for clearing ourselves out as well. So stand here nice and straight. 
Uh, lift the toes, spread the toes, tuck the tailbone, firmly ground in through your feet, the big toe, little toe, inner heel, outer heel. Deep in the breath, tuck the tailbone, shoulder blades down, head slightly comes forward. Breathe, working on our posture. to jump it back to Chaturanga, take it down, go and up dog, and down dog. And drop to your knees. We're going to headstand. Now, there's a couple of options here. We're going to do a full-blown headstand. If you're not ready for that yet, you can actually practice in this in dolphin. So a dolphin is kind of a prep, prep pose for you getting into the, um, uh, the headstand. So what we're going to do is you have these options right now. If you're not ready for headstand, then you can just stay here like this. The whole time we're doing um, headstand. It's like a down dog on your forearms. Now if you're ready, we're going to do a full version of the headstand. Now remember, when you're doing this, you're making sure that you're not putting the emphasis into your neck but into your forearms to hold you up. And again, I let you know here and now, if you're not ready for a headstand, please do not do it. Watch, learn. Because remember when I first started doing headstands, I jumped up, I kicked up, I looked like a donkey. Uh, literally, I'm not kidding. And I kept rolling over and falling over. And so um, I don't want you to hurt yourself or hurt your neck or anything like that. But if you have a teacher, do it with your teacher, learn first, or if you understand how to do a headstand, then join us. If not, just learn with us all. So from here, I'm going to take my crown of my head to the floor. I'm gonna walk it in nice and slow, transfer the weight, push into my forearms, and lift up. Oops, now isn't that pretty? You don't actually get to see my uh, wireless mic hanging down, but hey, that's what you call podcasting. That's real TV. So you're going to lengthen through the legs, deep in the breath. Remember to hug the muscles to the leg as you extend up. Push into your forearms, deep in the breath, everyone. slowly come down one foot at a time and go to child's pose as I put this back to my side stretch it out if you want give yourself a nice little rug rub neck So now from here, we're going to go into a shoulder stand and into plow pose, and we're going to be doing a full back bend as well. Again, these are all poses that will lift us up, give us clarity, and that's what we want. So from here, we're just going to roll it back. I'm going to roll over this microphone, so we're going to roll it back. We're just over here. Now. I'm going to tuck under, bring my legs up into the air. See, a lot of people, see their legs are going to do this, I guarantee it. What you got to do is tuck and bring the legs straight up. Now, it's going to feel awkward, like that can't be right. Well, trust me, this is the right way of doing it. Squeeze and lengthen through the toes, 
deep in the breath. We don't want to, if your legs are here, you know, that's okay. Just your body will open eventually and you got to get your strength, bring it to here. And then we're going to slowly release back into plow pose. You're going to take the feet back. Now, some people start freaking out and they get about this far. Interlock your fingers, push them into the mat. And it's okay, you're not going to hurt yourself. Well, let me rephrase that. Be careful and don't hurt yourself. Challenge yourself. You're not going to choke yourself, I promise. Breathe, listen to your body. If you're, if you're not ready to go back this far, that's okay. Just hang out with it. Breathe. Push your arms into the floor, deep in the breath. And slowly come out of it. I'm going to roll out of it vertebrae by vertebrae. And then I'm going to take my hands, bring my, make like a little the index fingers and thumbs touch. And I'm going to bring in the Matsyasana, the fish pose, come up on my forearms, drop my head back and lift into the heart. And slowly release. From here, we're going to bend our knees for just a moment. And from here, we're going to be doing a wheel pose. Now, you have an option here. If you don't want to do the wheel pose, you can do a bridge pose. Now, of course, we all know the bridge pose is this. Okay, that's the bridge. So you can do a full-blown wheel, too. Uh, if you're not ready for that, you can just do the regular bridge pose. So now when we're doing the bridge, bring your feet in. And now, a lot of times people do this, they point their elbows out. Fingers should be pointing straight back, elbows tucked in. Big inhale. And as you exhale, come to the crown of your head. Inhale. Exhale, push up. And we're going to hold it for five, four, three, two, one. And release, tuck your chin. Bring it down. We're going to do one more of these. Again, if you're doing bridge, come down, and then you can do another bridge as well. So again, hands back. We're going to inhale, come to the crown of the head. And exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Five. Four. Three. Two. One, and release. And when you come down, take it into reclined butterfly pose. Drop your legs out, arms to your side, palms open. And bring your legs together, squeeze it in, big hug. Arms to a T, legs to the right, look to the left. And roll the left, look to the right. Back to the center, squeeze it in. And stretch it on the floor for Shavasana, the resting pose. Arms to your side, palms open. Now for these next few moments, just allow yourself to completely relax, to breathe and surrender. Being completely present in this moment. Just allow yourself to awaken 
to what yoga has brought you today and just to accept the changes that have been given to you through your practice of yoga. Take the peace and the strength and share it. Namaste. Namaste.